Hail to the victors! In downtown Detroit? It's tough to imagine the University of Michigan anywhere other than Ann Arbor. But on this building in Detroit, you'll find a historical sign marking the spot where the dream for the school really began. The University of Michigan has had its home base in Ann Arbor since 1837, just a few months after Michigan became a state. But the school's roots date all the way back to 1817, when the territorial legislature passed an act establishing the University of Michigania. The act was like a blueprint, mapping out a curriculum and how administration would work. That same year, a cornerstone was laid near the corner of Bates and Congress Streets in Detroit. Eventually, a primary school and a prep academy were opened here, but never a university. There was a lack of funding, but also, there just weren't enough people around who were ready for that level of education. Fast forward two decades. In 1837, Michigan became a state. Its population was booming thanks to the opening of the Erie Canal. And Michigan's freshly inked constitution became the first in the nation to call for a state-supported public school system, including a university. At the same time, a group of speculators were sitting on some farmland in Ann Arbor. They decided to sell it to the state for a campus. The first classes were held in 1841 with just six freshmen, one sophomore, and two professors. Of course, the University of Michigan went on to become one of the country's top-ranked schools. If things had been different, today Detroit might be a world-class college town, and Ann Arbor could still be farmland.